So now whenever you do a library override, there's a bit of limitation. So if I were to go to file over here, and then if I were to click on link, and then if I were to select a collection and link it out, you can see that I have a collection link. So to make a library override, I'm going to go around into object, and then I'm going to go around into relation, and then I'm going to click on make library override. So once I do that, uh, override option opens up, so it just disappeared. So I'm just going to go around over here on to relation, make library override, and then I'm going to click on make library override again. So once I do that, you can see that this is uh, independent objects now. And if I were to go around over here into let's say, uh, select this, you can see that uh, I can work around with materials and everything, but there's a limited option. So if I were to go around over here onto the object data properties, you can see that link is an option. So if I were to click on link, that's unlinked out just like that. So now what you can do is you can go around over here and then uh, you can see that this is a separate object. And if I want to add in, let's say material, I can unlink the material as well. And you got the option just like this. But once you do that, what happens is that uh, the, uh, the uh, override is not linked. That is uh, the object is not linked with the, uh, with the original scene anymore. So uh, this is only recommended in case you really have to make the changes. And that is how you can break the link with library override and then work with uh, option, uh, options inside of Blender. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.